something we kind of touched on in our last video. I want to kind of expound on it more, and that is how does training change as we get closer. Uh, last time I kind of talked about how the worst thing you can do is increase your volume and start doing more towards the end. And prep, especially at the end, it's all about muscle preservation and fat loss. You're trying to preserve the muscle, which means you do need to do enough to stimulate it, not annihilate it or try and make it grow. It's not going to grow. You're on a caloric deficit, a probably pretty big one, honestly, since it's at the end of prep. So we're not growing on prep. You don't need to lift like you're trying to grow. That being said, you don't need to completely change up your lifting style it, it, like at all. You know, honestly, the only thing that I change with mine, two things. I prioritize my compound movements and I reduce the volume. Season. I would have another quarter on the bottom peg and I'd be hitting between seven and nine typically on the top set so I'm missing a quarter and I just got six or I got six and then eight with four straps so I mean it's taken a little bit I think the best way to describe what's happened is my top set strength taking a little bit of a hit but my like stamina as a whole for the workout drops off very like a lot quicker than normal so i'm getting it done like i said on my track compound lift still pretty damn well but uh, i fade quick which is very normal at this point <laughs> Time to fucking work. Good. Good, B. Just like that. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Right. So typically when we train push, We'll train chest, both the compound motions and the isolation movements before going to shoulders where we do the compound and then the isolation before doing dips at the end. Now when energy is at a premium, I'm doing my compound motion for chest, my compound motion for shoulders, the dips, and then we're doing all the isolation work at the end. We're getting in the work whenever I have the energy. And then, you know, when we get to the part where I don't have the energy, we're at the part where I can just make myself do it, you know? And like I said, we're prioritizing the work that is going to keep the tissue on me right now, which is what put it on me in the off season, the heavy, hard compound lift. So uh, for those of you wondering how it changes, that's how it changes for us. And I really, you know, if you change things drastically the last couple of weeks, I'd encourage you to revisit that strategy.
so this morning I got some like B-roll of him while he was doing like his check-ins. So I was like taking the pictures and uh, my wife was like videotaping like us doing that. You know you're a through and through bodybuilding family whenever you're perfectly fine with your wife just chilling with another dude in the beginning and it's funny. <laughs> but then he goes and makes his business breakfast business. and like packs all his stuff just and everything. All in the and you're just wearing the have it, the poster truck. Sparkly blue I might have. <laughs> And then he's like, oh, he's like going over everything that he needs to bring to come to Dallas. He's like, is there anything that I'm missing? I'm like, I, I, you probably should get dressed too. Like, like, just the maybe, kids. just maybe. 40. We almost wanted to like be like funny, try and be funny, because you know we're not really actually funny. And uh, like me like walk out with all my shit for the weekend just in my posing trunks and then just be like. I'd have done it. You probably I won't wear any mask and buckies in here in your fucking posing trunks.